Hello, I am Abigail Freemer. I am an occupational therapy student, and my role in this process was to administer the assessment to your child, Legend, evaluate and observe how he performs during particular tasks, and then take the results and explain them to you all, which we're about to do. As I stated, I am the one who administered the assessment with Legend. The assessment used was the Peabody Developmental Motor Scales, also known as the PDMS-3. The PDMS-3 is an assessment that evaluates the motor development of children using gross and fine motor skill abilities that children develop in their early life. Gross motor skills require the whole body to be involved, such as the core and big muscles in the body, like their legs, like I said, the core, bigger arm muscles. The fine motor skill movements are normally using the muscles in the hands and the wrists and the fingers. This is what the evaluation looks like. Here's an example and here's what he used. And I will let you look it over while I'll explain the results and findings. This, assess this assessment has two parts to it, hand manipulation and hand-eye coordination. I administered the hand manipulation section of the assessment with Legend, and uh, my partner did the hand-eye coordination, and we'll talk to you about that part at a later time. I started at his age in months and went from there. The raw score was 65, which was all the numbers added together gathered through the hand manipulation section, ranging from zero to two points depending on Legend's performance of the asked activity. He was then given the score for that activity. The score of 65 means he is right at average for his age. The results of the PDMS-3 are reported though through scaled scores. Scaled scores are based on a normal distribution with an average of 10. The standard score for the hand manipulation section was eight, meaning legend again is in the average range for his age group. The PDMS-3 is a highly valid measure of motor skills. The assessment is reliable and valid because it takes multiple sections and areas into account of the child's performance and abilities to create a score. It is based on multiple factors combined. If you guys have any questions throughout this, just stop me and go ahead and ask me. The percentile score for Legend's hand manipulation score was 25%, meaning he is, again, average compared to others his age. The overall fine motor score was 88 and the percentile rank was 21, meaning he is below average compared to others his age. This is because both of his scores from the hand manipulation section, which I did, and the hand-eye coordination section, which my partner did, were low, causing the overall average to decrease. This score does not raise any cause for concern right now. He is still on track for his age and just needs to be watched and monitored and maybe reassessed to make sure he maintains and does not fall further behind. But right now, there's no reason to worry or think um, any concerns are happening because right now he's still on track. Legend's score could have been negatively impacted due to having other individuals talking in the classroom around us having distractions or having him stay seated and try to pay attention for a long period of time. There were other people in the classroom testing next to us and which could have caused distractions for him. And then it also is hard for his age to stay seated when he has a lot of energy. So that could have been impacting his attention span and him correctly answering the um, tasks asked of him. The teacher had stated that he has not passed his hearing screenings, so this could have been a more difficult environment for him to pay attention and focus in since there were others in there um, testing next to us. It could have maybe distracted him or he might have had a harder time hearing us and what we were asking of him. Some of these things could have occurred and caused errors within the score but it would not have impacted the score too much differently 
just because he did do well on the sections. Throughout the assessment, Legend followed directions when asked and participated the entire time throughout the section, which was good in the assessment. He is a very happy and energetic child. They, we did have to take a lot of breaks throughout, which was fine. We stood up, we walked around the room, we did jumping jacks, we did coloring breaks, whatever, something that he preferred just to get his mind off of it, give him a little bit of an energy release before coming back and sitting down and finishing the task that we asked. During the assessment, Legend also wanted to sit on his knees because the chairs that we had were too big and the table was too high, so he wanted to sit on the chair, but this way I was also um, able to assess his balance and he was able to maintain his balance, although he is a little wiggly and energetic, like I stated, so he wanted to keep moving throughout the session and I did have to kind of give him a couple of verbal cues and bring him back attention-wise to the task that I asked, but no cause for concerns. Um, some recommendations I have. One recommendation is to assist um, Legend with hand manipulation and motor control of his fingers is using a thicker or wider crayon. So most crayons are very thin, but there are the thicker ones. Um, when he's coloring at home or at school, the thicker grip will um, also be able to help him um, grasp under the crayon and have more control over the movement instead of just um, using his fingertips and just kind of gliding across the paper, he can um, smoothly go through a movement with the bigger grip um, and have more control over it the, with the, the crayon. Another recommendation would be to assist in hand over hand with Legend when he is coloring or writing by his, writing with his teacher or, or you guys, your parent, his parents at home. Hand over hand can be done at home or the school when he's using writing utensils to demonstrate the proper grip needed. This will assist with establishing a consistent grip when holding the writing utensils and allowing him to understand the feeling of the proper grip. So since his age, he's only um, four, almost five, he does, it is normal for him to switch his grip, that's normal, but we do want to see him start to establish a consistent grip um, and stick with it and using the hand over hand with his teachers or you guys at home when he's doing any of his, you know, if he has homework or activities to participate in at home, um, using that hand over hand. So you putting your hand over his hand with a, an established grip and showing him how to hold the utensil will help him understand the feeling and how to manipulate, like use the crown or the writing utensil more proper. Um, thank you so much for meeting with me and sitting down to review Legend's results of the PDMS 3 assessment. I really enjoyed meeting Legend and being able to spend some time with him. Do you guys have any questions? Nothing right now. If you think of anything, don't be afraid to reach out to me and I hope you have a wonderful day.